story. Oh, welcome to Chick Chat Comedy Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are here. Patty Rosper, I'm your host with my beautiful. She's really trying to make me today, look ugly today. Today, I put the makeup on Karen, heavy. Carabas is wearing glitter on her tits. I have a go. go I have what's go, 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 go. go. no. <laughs> I, I have drag queen makeup no, on. No, you look beautiful. I walk in and I'm like, what the fuck did you do? And now I look like an ugly uh, guy Listen, next I to think- you. <laughs> <laughs> the fatter I get, the more makeup goes on. Your eyes are fabulous. Thanks. I just kind of threw my sheer hair. You know how to blow out hair. Well, I don't know how to do it. Here's the problem. I look like, look at my hair. I'm looking at myself here. I I'm went like, to oh. makeup school. All right, well. So I know how to put makeup on. Maybe you should do my makeup And I went to hair, hairdressing school. You know, I went to every freaking school there is <laughs> and successful at nothing. <laughs> did you take a comedy class ever? I did. Who? Uh, Gabe Abelson. Oh, you took Gabe Abelson's class. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then he went on to write on write for the David Letterman show. Yes, he was the head writer for a while. He was the head David writer, Letter. all right. David Letterman show. We are here with Adam Hineker, who was on the mic. Hello. Hey, you guys. He is our producer. Yes. So, Patty, tell them why we have no guests today. Sex kitten. Ah. Um, uh, <laughs> Slash se- se- and ki- cupcake sex kitten supplier. second. Okay. Cupcake supplier. <laughs> can you can you tell that story or is that? No, I don't think you we don't can. want to tell that one. Don't tell the cupcake story. I don't think we story. can tell that no. story. Okay. No, it's illegal. It is illegal. It's a, there's illegal business involved. <laughs> if we lived in Colorado, it would be legal. Yeah. All so right. You so guys put the pieces together. We have no guests today, today, but Carrie feels like fuck that because we are <sighs> as fascinating as they come. And do we really even need a guest, Carrie? Correct? Well, no, we don't really need guests, but we do like to have guests. But once in a while, because yes. we've never done a show just you and me. That's right. I really have to get into the nitty gritty of Patty. Sure. Okay. Sure. So why do you have a flat stomach, though? Look at your stomach. I don't. It's a. It's the. I have a. Um. What you call it? A thing on. Yeah. I should be wearing a thing because I'm wearing a big mumu on top. So. Here, here's the problem. A, is it a spank? <laughs> he likes. He likes the name. Men I'm like spanking. spank you. I'll Why spank do men the like shit out of you. Spanking though, it's such a weird thing for a man to like. You know, I went to a sex club once, just once. I thought um, twice. Well, twice, but <laughs> that's all we know about, though. A comedian girl, a friend of mine, yes, was bartending. She goes, "You got to come. It's going to be funny." Okay, I got a hair in my mouth. Mm. So I took my boyfriend at the time. Who was? Because he was perverted and he wanted to go. What was his name? Walter. Oh, Walter. I'm Walter. <laughs> Walter with well, the muscles. Yeah, He's Walter very with muscular. the muscles. You know, he'd walk in, a girl would walk in the room and he'd be, his eyes would go right to her tits. He was one of those guys. But did that bother you? <laughs> yeah, it did. I yeah, would I wouldn't like that. Punch his face in every time he did it. Um, so we we're at the uh, sex club, right? Yes. We were walking through, it's like dungeons, different rooms, right? Where was this? Midtown? Yeah, something mm. like that. In like a building upstairs, you got to get a password. Was it the, what was that famous sex club? Not the Hellfire. Not the Hellfire. There was another sex club called the Something Cove Cave. The, I can't think of the name of it anyway. I don't know. You know, I went once, Pat. All right, got twice. Different spot. This is a different spot. Oh, 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 the second one was, okay, go ahead. The first one was completely disgusting. It was a dungeon underground in in, uh, Chelsea. Ew. Anywho. (laughs) <laughs> this was a little more hip, a little more young. There was no Hasidic Jews there. <laughs> there was no Hasidims. Okay. So follow, following <laughs> you around in the place. first place. Yeah, follow me around jerking off, which <laughs> I was like, I'm going to punch him in his fat head. <laughs> this Abraham Lincoln looking motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. All right. So we get there and we go into this. We're just walking around looking, you know. Of course, he's salivating. He's. <laughs> Who, yeah. uh, your My boyfriend. boyfriend. And I yeah. was like, okay, how much, much longer do I have to do this? Now, do you this? have an agreement that he can bang girls in the sex club? No. Like, oh, uh, no. What I'm... agreement is that? <laughs> Whose agreement is that? It's know. not my agreement. This is why people go to sex clubs. They I swing. I went because they... my friend was bartending and she oh, goes, right. you got to come. All right. Okay. Don't leave me there alone. Okay. And she was making like sick money, like $1,000 or whatever it was. She was? She was making like five, 600 bucks my for God. one night of bartending oh, in a shit sex club. So I go, we go, and this guy's tied up. This business yuppie guy. <laughs> Is he have tied, a suit on? Tied, no, he's wearing nothing but his underwear. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's not even hitting him hard. I'll give. Her, I'll throw him a beating that he'll never forget. And then it, we'll see if his wife 
that's sitting home with his two kids. <laughs> you don't know that. Did he like your beating? He, they wouldn't give me the stick. Oh, God. I would have beat the shit out of him. First, I would have hit him across the knees, and he would have buckled. <laughs> And then, what is wrong with you? And then I would have why are you? Why do you right even... across the head. <laughs> how did you grow up that you know how to beat up people? That's my I, favorite you know, thing I about know. you. I, don't know. I feel very safe when I'm with you. Safer than almost any man because I think you could handle fucking anybody. I, you could beat the shit out of people. I don't... I, like sometimes it's... Now the menopause kicked in so it's like even 10 times more like... Your anger? Yeah. I'm completely angry. Oh my God. And what happens is you don't realize like when I was pregnant I was like seven months pregnant. I was gigantic. In the car, I got into a fight with a girl that tried to take my parking spot. And I go, I will get out of this car and I will kick your ass. And my sister goes, are you out of, are you out of your mind? You're pregnant. And I, I didn't care. And then, so now I get in the car. The girl drives away. I, uh, clearly, she saw I was crazy and I got, you know, she got scared. So now we're walking in the mall. After like an hour, I see her walking, and she looks at me. She looks at my stomach, and I was like, mm hmm that's right. <laughs> I'll still kick your ass. I'll stick your ass pregnant, bitch. That's how That's how, that's how you roll, afraid. baby. That's how, that's how you afraid. roll. Uh, I used to fight all the time when I went through menopause. My kids would be so upset with me. I fought mothers. I fought everybody. I fought a guy selling Pokemon cards. I don't know why my kids remember <laughs> me fighting with the Pokemon card guy. But my da daughter told me that I said to him, go fuck yourself. Because it was something, I don't know, I was buying them Pokemon cards. And I don't even remember what happened. But my kids remember that I told the Pokemon guy on the street to you go You scarred them for life because they can't forget that story. I know, because there's something crazy and wrong with me. What happened? We lost them? The internet. The comments. The I got the comments. The internet's slow, so I had to restart it. Oh, we had to start all over. What? You have comments? I got no comments. Yeah, because uh, we had to start the stream. God damn over. it. So if you have comments, redo the comments. Uh, people just mostly said hi. Oh, oh good. okay. Hello. Yeah, just hello. Um, what was I Yeah, I had, I, have, I, have I had uncontrollable anger during my menopause, and it's still there because you're never really out of menopause. That's, it. that's, that's another thing, man. You, you are like... You go through this horrific anger, you know, your mood swings go mm -hmm. from normal to like, I'll kill somebody, right, right. to, you know, calm again, and then hot flash, and then you can't sleep, and every bone in your body hurts, and your fingers are stiff, and, <laughs> Your you vagina's know, dry, it your hurts. Your vagina <laughs> dries up and hurts. goes back into your body. It sucks itself up. It's just disgusting. Yes. The whole thing. And you're turning into a man. You are turning into a man, because all the things that... You get chin hairs. Everything that is girly about you is like, not. You know how your waist girly goes anymore. in, yeah. and that now your waist just goes d d d d d like a little fatty, yeah, like a, a little sausage. Stain. Yeah, aging. Yeah, <laughs> the aging process for women. That's why you see these women that are, you know, fifty-five, and they're trying so hard. They're starving themselves. They've got all that Botox in their face. They, they look can't horrible. Smile. I don't even think they look good, those women. Those women are the... the what no, are those they look women? like burn victims. The women of... <laughs> the women of New York and Atlanta. All those women with yeah, the... Yeah, the housewives. The housewives. With the, they all have this... The, what's up with the lips? I, I understand you don't want... The wrinkles in the face, cause I got I got a new wrinkle today. It's like a gash. <laughs> it was right. It's right here. It's like a big Let me dent. See. Let me see. That's wow. You are so hurtful. You are uh, so oh fucking hurtful. <laughs> We're gonna walk down the aisle. It's happening. Well, I, I wanna when? Uh, Give me a date. Within within thirty days. Within thirty days, I, I so. bet you twenty five dollars. Maybe sixty. Dollars. Maybe sixty no, days. No, let's do thirty. <laughs> let's do thirty days from today. Today's Wait, date is the eighteenth. If we're 18th. putting money down, you know what? I'm a lot of money. Five dollars. Twenty five. What's I, wrong with twenty five? I don't have it. Five bucks. Are we on we're, yet? We're on. Oh, we're back on. Okay. Yeah. What happened, Joe Magaga? The Adam messed it up. He didn't know the new password. He didn't know the new password. He didn't password. know the new password. They me the new password. They changed it and they didn't tell me. So who's full? Who do we blame? I'm not going to name names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we're back. Maybe and we're you just... have to ask every time you come. You go, is no, there a new password? No, they, yeah, okay, so right. now I So have... what did Joe Magaha miss? Everything? He missed uh, something. I don't know what it was. All right, you missed a lot of shit we talked about. You'll have to go to the other show. Um, what was I going to say also? Um, oh, 
So wait, one more thing about the Emmys, then you, uh, then that's it. Uh, the Amazing Mrs. Maisel won, and the girl from the Amazing Mrs. Maisel won, and it won won like a lot of shit. And the the oh my god, the writer lady, it made me never want to watch the show. She was comes out in a hat, and she's got a mini skirt on, and she's so obnoxious and like a complete asshole. But anyway, I go to Kevin. Kevin, I want to get Amazon Prime so we can watch the Amazing Mrs. Maisel. He goes, no. <laughs> He fucking hates the guy who runs Amazon Prime. His name is Jeff Bosco, whatever his name is. Why? Why does he hate This is what he says. He says, because the factory workers have to pee in Snapple bottles. I go, what are you talking about? Why? My husband does that. It's fine. (laughs) What's wrong with that? He said because... A Snapple bottle has a big fat opening. He doesn't give them... (laughs) So he's wise. He doesn't give them pee breaks. He goes, here's the guy who's like the richest guy in America. He goes... Fuck Amazon Prime. Bullshit. Now, I'm somebody not... made that story up, and, and Kevin believed it. I don't know. It might I be true. I don't believe you can't we get will a fact check. break. I don't believe that. I will fact check. First it's... of all, there are laws. I don't know. He says they're all peeing in there a Snapple bottle. There are laws. Bottles. they got to have an hour break. Then no one's peeing in a Snapple bottle. So now My I... husband is, but I... that's about it. <laughs> Did you ever pee in a Snapple bottle, by the way? No, because how am I going to do that? I peed in a Snapple bottle. But really, how? <laughs> I'll tell you exactly You didn't get how. it all over your hands? Uh, not only that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a dick, Patty. <laughs> no, that's what I found out. I was driving home. When my kids were little, I got the babysitter. So now you're driving. Four in the morning. I'm driving. And there's and you stuck a bottle there. On the Taconic. And it's snowing. <laughs> and it's like I'm sliding all over the road. The tree fell down. There's four of us behind the tree. The firemen are there. They're like, you're going to have to wait here 45 minutes, and then you can go. We've got to get this tree out of here. And I'm like, I got to pee. He goes, I, he goes, I don't know what to tell you. You, you, you got to wait 45 minutes. You, I go, can I go around the tree? He's like, no, you can't go around. So I take my Snapple bottle. <laughs> I pull my pants. I put the Snapple <sighs> bottle. I aim it sort of in the direction of where my urethra would be. And it just went all over my Is that a thing? Uh, all over is my your car reason? seat. <laughs> Watch your car world. seat. All over <laughs> my baby. jeans. All over. And every time. And I washed it with like, you know, of course, when I got home, I used a special cleaning agent. But every time it was hot, you know, the sun. The smell of urine. The smell of urine. Would, I couldn't wait to get rid of that car. My black <laughs> So anyway, I did pee in a Snapple that, bottle. That you can't, no, you didn't. You peed all over your well, hands I peed, and yourself. Some went into the bottle. None. Well, just a little. Okay, a I, smidge. I tried to pee in a cup. Okay, oh, a, like a like a Slurpee cup or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Because we were driving, he didn't want to stop. I don't remember what happened. So I I went in the back and I go, all right, fine. We had the minivan. I I could stand and I I put it right there and I'm peeing and peeing and peeing. And then I realize, oh my God, how much do I have to pee? The cup filled completely, <laughs> overflowed. I'm like, oh, I, do you have another cup? <laughs> I, I can't stop peeing. <laughs> So funny. That is hilarious. So with that panic, you go like this yes. and it spills all over. So and gets and that was that in the car? That was in the minivan, yeah. Oh, it's horrible. And we sold the minivan. So then I went out and bought one of those porta potties. Uh, and you left it in your car? No, listen. This is a little porta potty that goes <laughs> with you to on the boats. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, I know those. Okay, so I bought one from like um Home Depot. Okay. Right? Yeah. For like fifty bucks. Okay. Every time my kids had to piss they would sit on this thing and piss, and then we, we we wouldn't have to stop the car ever. That is, my father did that. So I hated it. When we go on vacation, the little wooden porta potty, and I had to poop. It's making me poop in the car in front of my sisters. It was horrible. Well, my kids were two and three. And then, <laughs> so, you know, so, when you're 12 and 13, that is a little creepy that your father did that to you. <laughs> he pulls over, and a cop comes up to the car. And he knocks on the window, and my father rolls the window down. And he goes, "What seems to be the problem?" And he goes, "My daughter's on the..." T-. And I'm sitting there like pooping, and I'm looking oh up. Oh my it was, it was god! So, anyway, it was very humiliating. I don't know. So that I think it's a bad. Well, idea. yeah. If the older you are, it is humiliating. I, I mean, we did it up until they were like five. Yeah. Well, I don't know how old I was. You I, were like fourteen. No, I wasn't a teenager. But I, but I, was. I just. You know that it was good because they had to pee every five minutes. They had the juice box and then the, the yeah, pee yeah. and then the juice box. That's right. So and then I had the videos. I had this this minivan was rigged with every possible thing to keep them quiet. See, you had kids at the right time. It's after the little video games came out. I had kids when all there were, were nothing. books, right, books. Nothing. All the time, biting, punching, crying. <laughs> horrible. I would have killed for a little fucking movie thing so they'd shut up. It was, like, horrible. 
Yeah, that I, I did. I had the kids at the right time. It was technology that meets me. I see kids in the grocery store. I saw this little kid, and he's... He- Because me, I'd have them in store, like, you know. But when they look at it, they're, they're nice, you know. They're like, it's doable. It's doable. All right. The other day you were talking to me. Can you talk about this? About, you said you watched five shows in a row about aliens. Yes. Now, and what did you learn? We are aliens. <laughs> Mostly Asian people. <laughs> it's a true Okay, fact. wait a minute. So... So we're all Asian. No, look, all... here's the deal. Here's the deal. Go ahead, here's because the deal. this is the show H and It'll explain everything to you. It's, I mean, there are things on this earth that we cannot explain unless somebody came down from another planet and made it happen. And it's not far-fetched, Patty, because we now have the capability. Okay, they even say the Virgin Mary was inseminated by an alien. Now, <laughs> think about Mary. this. They say... A lot of women back then. It says it in the Bible. Okay, well, the Bible, it's a mythological book. Are you being literal with the Bible? I'm just saying what women back then were impregnated by aliens. Okay, look. They took, I know that's what you're saying. They took the DNA from us and they I... took the DNA from them and they mixed it and they did it. It started off with animals. So it started off with animals and then eventually, eventually, like if you want to say evolution and we, sh- we stood upright and we shed our skin, why would we shed our fur if it's a cold, we're in cold okay, weather? what about okay. like... Wait, okay, let me ahead. finish. Okay, go ahead. So let's just say this is true because I believe it is true. I believe that we've... So we can leave this planet right now, go to another planet. Uh-oh. Let's just say, Boy. <laughs> find, a, find a, a, you know, doing things to it. We already do it to the animals. What right? do you mean doing things? It, doing all kinds of, you know that they took two cats, they took the DNA from both cats, they put them together and they made a cat. Well, if it's two cats, why two wouldn't it come out cats. with a cat? No, two female cats. Oh. Two they can clone. They can clone now. Not... Can't get a boy cat, but you'll get another girl cat. So basically, we don't need men. But here's the thing. Did you? Be, may I just interject one? Owned her dog. Is that the fucking weirdest thing you've ever heard in your life? Okay, go ahead. Well, he might have been a nice dog. Yeah, you ha- you're cloning a dog? I but mean, why? Get another dog. Exactly. It's the why? same breed. That you have too much money if you're cloning your dog. Let look, your dog go you clone- and go get another right. dog. But why would you clone your dog? But look, my friend, uh, you know, uh, has a poodle, whatever it is, and they look identical. They look like they What's can be a poodle, brothers. whatever it is? My, I got a poodle, Bichon, and he's got a cockapoodle. Oh, 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 like a mix. So, but I'm saying it's a mix, but yeah. they look identical. They could exactly. be brothers. So why just go get another dog? That I, know, like I don't dog. understand. It's ridiculous. Or get your dog. You can stuff your dog. I would, If I had Barbara <laughs> Streisand's money, I would try to clone somebody I knew. That's an idea. Like, like her husband. Somebody I liked. Her husband. Uh. <laughs> what, what was but, he in? <laughs> what movie? What? MD. What was that show? Who? Too which, young. which husband? She's, ma- she's married to, not Elliot Gould, the one she's married to now. He was like a doctor on a show. You don't remember? It was I don't know, but 70s. you asked me about aliens. Okay, go ahead. went off on I, Bob go ahead. Okay, I want to hear about aliens, but it's crazy. So now go if ahead. you watch the show and you listen to it and you really look at all the things that exist on this planet go that ahead. back in the day that they're talking these millions of years ago, uh, you know, thousands of years ago, they didn't have to etch something in, in in like a piece of, you know, stone. But how do you know they didn't have the capabilities? It, because, be, oh, well. Maybe they were great at math. Like, why do we but hold think on a second, we're though. good how at math? Did they, how did the pyramids, how did people without air flight yes. know, in, you know, the pyramids of, you know, Egypt. Yes. Uh, and the dimensions of the pyramid in Egypt. Yes. Match the exact e- dimensions of the ones in uh, Mexico with the, uh, with the, uh, whatchamacallits, what were they called again? Do you I remember? don't know. The Aztecs? Not the Aztecs. The Mayans? The Mayans. Uh, they're, they're, the, the circumference all around that 
pyramid is exactly the same in the dimensions of the ones in Egypt. That could so, be a coincidence. Oh, really? Two guys back then came up with the same idea? Patty? Wait a minute. Are there are no pyramids. The Mayans didn't make pyramids. They had a pyramid. Well, here's the and thing. And it's across the whole world. So how'd they get there? I don't know. They had to fly. Took a boat. They took a boat. They either they uh, either we had a civilization that was just as smart as us. If yes, not smarter, why, why couldn't and they, they be? Got, yes. And then we just see, you know, well, if they were, then why they live in rocks? <laughs> but why couldn't they listen? Mathematical geniuses. There, there could be a full group. Well, where the, was their where was their aircrafts? Who? Why do they have to have aircraft? Well, how'd they get to Mexico? And then they took a boat. I don't know how they get no, to Mexico. None of it makes sense. There's a missing something. Eventually, I'm going to be right. Oh, You're boy. all going to see it. Eventually, when they Woo! make themselves known. I know it's Who, the aliens? Yeah. But one, why are the aliens Asians instead of just like Irish Asians. people? I'm not saying we're all part Asian. We're all part Asian? That's true. I mean, not part Asian, part alien. Oh, part <laughs> Okay, uh, here's what I think. How about science? How about Darwin? How about we shed the fur because we were going from monkey to man? Why did we go to monkey from monkey to man? Why did only the monkey go to man? Why did the lion go to man? Why did the fucking elephant go to man? Well, the elephant has gone to man. If you look around United States of America, there's a lot of fucking <laughs> elephants there. But I don't know. I'm just saying. Why was the monkey the only chosen one to become man? Well, all of well, all of them went from something. And why to did something. some monkeys stay? I don't know. They, because because you're not getting it. <laughs> Why do you not believe? We're only on this planet how many years? I don't we're know. So, we're I'm not good babies. at science. So what makes you think, what makes you so cocky to think you're the only living life form on this vast universe? I am not, I'm not cocky to think I'm the only living life form, but I don't believe that, that they can make their way aliens. over. Well, hold on a second. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think they have big heads How do you with know? Eyes. How do you know what they look like? I, like a, oh, another a little, person? Like seaweed and water. Why? Why? You're, 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 yes, but Why can't they on this planet? You know Stop. About- now listen to me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. Let me answer you. You know how many millions of things have to come together for us to look like this and think like this and have all these molecules? But we're brand new. Yeah. But so, so you there have are to have- planets- older than planet would have to have the same kind of water, the same kind of air, the same kind of everything for us to be like that. That's all I'm saying. No. It would have to only, because it's only what you can grasp, but it would have to be whatever they needed on their planet to are. They can travel through the universe just like we can. We could travel in space, can't we? We can travel in space. Yes. In an aircraft. Yes. Well, I haven't seen so Adam maybe any they can. Adam, maybe they save can. Save me, Adam. <laughs> I have nothing to contribute to this. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Do you believe me? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Listen, Joe McGaga, Joe McGaga and Brian Plato believe. Hi, Brian. They Hi. believe me because they know I'm right. No, where does it say they believe uh, And yeah, I saw they didn't necessarily say they believed you. Okay. He said, I'm with Carrie. That means He said, I'm with Carrie. Take me to your leader. Exactly. Ah! I think he's Magaga. goofing around. Listen, my friend Elena and I were my driving. My sister's watching. Hi, Ellen. My friend Elena and I were driving one night on the LA. Yes. And, no, on the whatever it was. Okay. And I, I go, look at those weird lights. And they were big round circle lights. Right. Okay. Maybe this was technology from our government. Yes. That could be possible. Uh, well, you know what it is? Sometimes, like, there's a sale at a store, and they put these big lights up in the sky. No, that's not what it was, Patty. So now, um, we're driving on the, the, there's there's nothing underneath these things. No, from far distance, it looked like street lights, right? Yes. On the LIE. All right. On the 135. It wasn't the LIE. It was the 135. (laughs) So there's <laughs> nothing on the, the 135. Yeah, the one that the Super Rose Bay Express. There's okay. nothing on the Super Rose Bay Expressway, right? Okay. So all of a sudden, I'm driving, yeah. and I see these lights. And as we, she's driving, and I, I was pregnant. As we're getting closer to them, we realize they were five lights this way in like a dome, four or three on this side. They were blinking to each other. And that's what made us notice them. I'm like, holy, well, look at those lights. And from, so from a distance. they're talking to each hold other. Hold on, from a okay, distance. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. They look like they've gotten closer and underneath. They 
they weren't. There was Did nothing you under see them. People looking I didn't out the window. See people. From normal to gone in a second, and that scared the shit out of me. And she agrees. I called up news. Who's tw- she? Elena. Oh, you were with that. We both freaked out. I go, no one's. Go- she goes, no one's going to believe us. I go, who gives a shit if anybody believes us? So did you report it? I called up News Twelve. <laughs> I can't believe you did. Carrie? I called News Twelve. I said, this go ahead. Crazy, crazy alien spaceship on the one thirty five, <laughs> and they go, you're the fourth person who called. No, they didn't say. That. Fourth person who called who thought it was an alien. Well, and did go- they know what it was? Did they say? They Look, said we a, don't. We don't see. It's any, a sale at no. Five, thing. No, it was on the one thirty-five, Patty. The one thirty-five. I don't care who believes me, but probably we won't ever get to see this on uh, in our lifetime. Maybe we will. Uh, Maybe in twenty years from now, they'll they'll come down and show themselves to us. Here's the problem: you watch five shows in a row. When you watch five shows in a row, brainwashed, Patty. It's a I've brainwashing of a ancient whole aliens. Twenty-four hours of ancient aliens. <laughs> Because they have, they have, they have, um, they go back in the biblical times, right? Yes. When Jesus and, and God and all that. Yeah. They show the Virgin Mary, right? Paintings that were painted back then. Yes. And up in the corner is like a round saucer spaceship. What is that? Why what? would they paint that? Because they, what's They the, believed in them too? No, they no. believed in aliens? What's the round thing around your head? You could say, oh, that's a spaceship around no, the Virgin no, Mary's no. head. That's a halo right, around well, what's up top? A Maybe spaceship. that's another halo. No, it looked like a it's spaceship aura. with somebody in it. It's an aura of a but religious. The, nobody. <laughs> now these people drew oh what they saw in the sky and the burning bush <laughs> could have been an aircraft coming down <laughs> with the fire. No. This is why we need a guest today, so I can turn to the guest and go, do you see what I'm saying? saying there's no God, because there is a God, because God created the so whole thing. So God has sent the aliens Oh, no, God the Everything that's happening now is a result of somebody creating this. I have to agree to disagree. I mean, I'm not saying that there couldn't be somebody on the planet. Uh, some animal, some something. It's, but what it's an be, animal? It's going to be like a wiggly amoeba thing. It's not going to be someone with hair and but makeup. But it might be something. It might be more someone than one tits. different type of alien out there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody with tits. Wouldn't it be funny if we went to another planet and everyone had great tits at the planet? <laughs> like, you know, like that would be the thing that grew there. All right, Carrie's like, no. We um, are an experiment. And anybody's watching right Brian now. Brian Play-Doh has, a, has, a, uh, has is offering his ideas. We did not come from monkeys. Humans and primates share a common ancestor. How come humans have an extra DNA that no one else, no animal on this planet has? Well, they have a lot of other things. Uh-oh. He's got more. I believe that the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids, not aliens. Me too. Astronomy, math, planning, yes. And, wait a minute. Shit. Why is it not coming up? See more. Well, it won't let me what read the rest. What does Brian know? Brian Plato, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's mathematic. Mathematics is what built it. Mathematics. Okay, that's... Uh, okay. But you. But your eye makeup is fat. What do you want to say about your eye makeup? <laughs> My daughter goes <laughs> your to me today. eye makeup looks so good today. She goes, uh, as I'm walking out, she goes, Mom. <laughs> Wait, she's 11? 11. Yeah, 12. 12. She just turned 12. Oh, okay. Mom, I'm like, what's up? She goes, uh, what's up with the eye makeup? I go, why? She goes, it's not working. <laughs> it's so it's right. off. She goes, about it. I go, what do you mean it's off? <laughs> she goes, it's just not working. I go, maybe it's not working for you, but it's working for me, okay? Because mommy needs it. It's very attractive. Mommy needs it. I do like. I do like. It's a smoky look in your eye. It's beautiful. All right, let's see what else we can talk about. Um, Oh, you know what? How about, uh, you know, Julie Chen just lost her job on The Talk because her husband, Les Moonves, who was the head of CBS, they got rid of him, you know. And she was like, my husband didn't touch those women. He didn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. That's what she said with the first round of women that came forward. Then the second round came forward with six <laughs> more women. There were wow. six more. Like, they keep busting them in. <laughs> well, after Bust. that, after that, they kicked him out. They fired him. And here's the worst part. The first round of women, they said, you can have $108 million, whatever it was, and that's your buyout, get out, nice knowing you. He's like, I'm not leaving. I'm going to fight this. 
Then the next six women come forward, and they're all like, "Well, if I knew that money was coming, can you?" And they now he didn't get the money, and he had to go without the money. A hundred million dollars, he had to go that. And just today, like before we started, wait. This, so the second batch of girls didn't get anything. No, the second batch of girls. I, he, for some reason, they were giving him a buyout, even though he molested people. They were saying, look, we're not sure it happened, but why don't you go quietly, here's your money. And he took it? He did not take it. Stupid! So he's going to fight them. And Julie Chen, who's his wife, she's on The Talk, and she's on Big Brother. Anyway, she's like, my husband never did it. Then the next six women come along. Now, all of a sudden, she got very quiet. She's like, I need to spend time with my husband and my, my child. My children. And you know what that means? That means CBS fucking fired her ass, and she's out. That's always what they they go... We hope Julie Chen can enjoy her life and, you know, for whatever her new endeavors are, which is exactly what they say right after they fire you. They're just so she's gone because she married a guy. I, I, I that can't who last. Who couldn't keep it in his pants? He can't keep it in his pants. The terror. And then who's, shame. who's the other one? Oh, I haven't talked to you since Louie went up. What do you think about what do you think about how long do you get mad at a guy for jerking off in front of a woman? I was on stage. At- and uh, then. I, I finished the show. I closed out the show. And then the raffles were going on. So okay. I come around because naturally I buy like $900 worth of raffles. Because you did win. How much did you win that one time? I don't remember. 3000 I don't remember. I won a lot. I won a lot. So yeah. So now I'm in the back of the room. And all of a sudden I hear him go, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Louis C.K. And I'm like, yeah, okay. That, Wait, this I, was at Governor's? Yeah, right after I got done with the show, they were doing the raffles. We all had our raffles out. Oh he went. God. He apparently went up at at Governor's before Oh, before the he seller. did the seller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I yeah. could have called TMZ because I have video of it. I have it on video, folks. You do? I have Louis his first time on stage since the Why didn't you give it to them? Insta- because I, I don't... Okay, so what do you think? You're, I'm you're... not mean. Okay, what do you think? You know, Is it okay he's back? Did he pay So he penance? got up and, you know, he did a... Um, did people bully A him? rape joke. No, he didn't. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, What's the rape joke. How did it go? Uh, I would have booed his ass the, off the a stage. A rape whistle and this whistle. I don't. I don't know how it went because yeah, you need we... it when he's around. You need a rape whistle. But here's what I think. You know how I feel about Louis. How? I feel that he got the raw end of the deal. I know you do think, and I disagree, of course. I don't. I don't. I, the guy asked the girls if he could jerk off, and, he, and then he went to the bathroom, got naked, and came out. They could have left. No, no. Patty! He didn't ask until he was coming out with his dick out. He didn't go, hey, do you mind if I change it to something Yeah, else? all right, so, so if like a guy it. says you're 24 years old, the guy says to you, do you mind if I jerk off? You're going to say, yeah, we do mind. We mind. But that's Good nothing. luck. Enjoy yourself. He didn't. Oh, how many comedians? A girl Hey, do you mind if I jerk off while we're talking? That's fucking weird. He's weird. But he is. Shows were weird. That's who he is. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I get it. He's dead to me. You <laughs> <laughs> just. He called you a cunt. That's true. That's part of it. Once someone calls me a cunt, they're dead to me. On uh, oh, you didn't watch uh, on the Emmys. Uh, he won like best comedy album or best something. John Mulaney. No, didn't you want to talk about the other guy? Who's the, the other guy from the? Oh, Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah, Let's talk Brett about Kavanaugh. Brett. Okay, Brett Kavanaugh, who is uh, he's the Republican. Uh, to be the Supreme Court judge, that, that this girl in high school, or this, she's a, she's a, she's a, she is now, but she's something up there. She said when she was a teenage girl, top of her in the bed, held her down, held her clothes off, she had to fight him off. His friend jumps on top and laughing, and then uh, the two of them rolled off the bed and she escaped. Go ahead. I'm glad you we went from aliens to men. <laughs> because it shows we, that we are part of men. That, that shows that we now, don't need a... Uh, here's what I think. This girl's name is Ford. Yes. Okay. Something like that. Or so Ford. he's fighting her on it because, again, supposedly he was really drunk Okay, in high school. This happened 30 years ago. I really know. I'm just saying. I'm not... Okay. I'm not I'll tell you what... I'll how do we... Know this really went down and say he did it. Did she, supposedly he's going to go to court with this? Who 
in, to, two, to, in two weeks? Yeah. They say that if she's not there on Monday or whatever it is, then they're just going to go straight ahead with the uh, confirmation hearing. And Wait, they, she's supposed to agree. She has agreed she to She hasn't going? agreed to show up. Because, Why? I'll tell you. Did you Why? ever see what happened to Anita Hill? And treated her like shit. It, it was. Okay? So then hold on a second. Anita Hill. Hold on a and second. Not Clarence Here's Thomas. where my now the story gets we'll put a, a little here crazy. The coke. Okay, you bring up this, big up this, forty fucking years ago. It's not forty years ago. How many years ago? Is I it? don't know. Okay, you bring up this thing from thirty years ago. But uh, so if someone uh, wait sexually now, uh, now uh, it, it's not br- good anymore. After wait 30 a minute. Years? I'm not saying that. Okay, good. You bring it all up. Yes. Okay. Yes. You want to fight this guy, and all of a sudden they go come to court. Now, now she's backing out. Now she don't. She may come why? in on Monday. But why? Why then bring it up? Go full force. Well, Go that's what Monday. you would do. That's but, what you would do. So then why did she mention it in the first place? Because here's Because she probably got off. Who no. the hell knows? Who the hell knows no, why here. she... She wants notoriety. Why don't you believe I women? Don't be- You're a woman. You should You're believe wrong. women. You're wrong. I do believe women. It's, it's the women that do things just I'll for the you, attention. No, no, that no. That ruins the no. little girls who actually are really getting sexual abuse. But- I think that is a sexual abuse for a guy in high school. As a matter of fact, in 2012, this woman who's the accuser, therapist or psychiatrist, and said that he did this to her when she was in high school and she was working through it because it was so traumatic for her. Now, in 2012, Brett Kavanaugh, or whatever his name is, was not running for uh, the Supreme Court justice. But this is so all she, hearsay. She this went, is all- that she went, but this is her, all her who is concocted think, story, just like my alien story. Who's gonna, Does it really <laughs> exist? Who's going to think six years earlier oh, give me to, a, go to, a therapist, saying to go to a therapist and say, Brett Kavanaugh jumped oh, and God. held me down and pulled my clothes you know what off? Me? Who's going to say that I'm all for unless justice. it really happened? I'm all for justice, but then there are guys that are getting wrongfully accused. That's different. No, but then how do you know the difference? Because it's corroborate, corroborated. Has anyone else come, hold on? Has anyone else come forward for this guy to say anything negative about him? I'm not sure. I, I don't know that. I don't know. That. Okay. But the so guy, one girl decides she's going to ruin this guy. Why is she? You don't know. It, but if whatever. Did, maybe what she if liked he him and he it? blew her off because she was no. a fat girl. No. What if he did do it? What? Listen. What if he of, did? Let's say. The three more girls come okay, forward. Let me did do it. Now what? No, now do you no, believe No, let's her? not say any girls come forward. Let's just say that really did happen. He was drunk. He was in high school. Yes. Now and, what? But he, he was drunk. She thought that he kill her because she couldn't breathe. Well, not that he was trying to kill her. over her mouth to stop her from screaming. So gonna inadvertently kill her. Okay, that's Look, different. I don't know if I like this guy. I don't know <laughs> if I like this guy. But, All right, but, but I don't even scary. know them, and nor do I care to know them. But, but my should point we let is, him be a Supreme Court no, judge if he's... But hold on a second. That's character. But that's that a lack of character. But that could also be her jealousy. I don't know if it's a true story. To go to court? No, she didn't say that. That's not up on Monday. Well, let's what see. They well, want let's to, Monday, we revisit this. We will revisit it. it. Here's what I want to say. Go ahead, P- guys. I mean, you know of the women, but there are so many guys that are getting wrongfully accused of stuff and going to jail or whatever, and it's all bullshit. The girl just says it because she knows now she can get away with it, or she knew back then. Uh, usually, when they, I know, when they fake do it, they usually do get caught because they can't keep the, the story straight. Well, I'll tell you, lie. one guy, my cousin told me this story. Your cousin, a man or a woman? A girl. Okay. So I, I of course, like a wacko, was, I'm online all the time looking up where pedophiles live because you could look oh, it up. Oh, yeah, I used to do that, yeah. So Did I, I tell you I had a pedophile who lived in No, the house, I would have moved. The house is a rental. And the guy was living next door while my kids were in high school. Yeah, and I I, well, uh, we found and a cop went over there 
and to, and he wasn't allowed to live within how however many feet of the school, and the school was right near or children. Right, so he had to move. Got him out. That's really. Just stayed in that house without telling anybody. But okay, go ahead. They're all over these fucking people. So I'm Googling it and all. (laughs) I go, holy shit, is it my cousin's house? What? My godchild's house, actually. I go, so I call her up. I go, do you know this address? And she goes, yeah, it's across the street. I go, did you know that there's a pedophile living in? No, he wasn't a pedophile. She goes, yeah, she goes, he was, his girlfriend said. She ruins How does she know? Because they know the kid. They know his family. They grew up with him. And this girl was a big And now for the rest, he can't get a job anywhere because he's got rape on well, It's charge. terrible if someone falsely accuses And this kid someone. was falsely Okay, but all I'm saying is, this woman, you should be cute. Something big, like, he... It was a gang, you know, they make it like a bigger story than normal. When it's a story like she's telling... Where there was no actual rape, but that it was like, and that he inadvertently tried to kill me. He tried to get. They say those kind of stories tend to be real, as opposed well, to the crazy ones. Well, when a person is drunk out of their mind, do you think they really know what they're doing? Well, he shouldn't be drunk out of his mind. If well, you tell that to a seventeen-year-old. Well, and, you've never been drunk out of your mind. Listen, I've been drunk out of my mind. I've never tried to rape somebody. Being drunk out of my mind. No, I but think you did go down on a girl. I think when you. <laughs> Just, I wasn't drunk that's then, just though. As bad. I wasn't drinking back then. <laughs> <laughs> I did that sober. That's why oh it was so painful. It was so painful. Um, let me. The see, sound I... keeps cutting out. Oh, the, the internet's really? fucked up. It's Every the time internet. the conversation gets good, I lose I don't the have sound. Any new equipment. Is Facebook censoring you? No. Okay, but you know what? No, they're not. On iTunes, you could get this whole thing while you're driving. This is all fucked up today, so go on. This is what used to happen in the old... Cut in. Yeah, it's a good... Do you believe in karma? Um, a little more. Well, do you believe that... Kind of. What goes... That shit that they... Not always, but I think no. If but you... the karma trickles down if you hit somebody else, maybe uh, your kid. Yeah. Kid. I think that something like that, happened. but I don't see it as when you do something in life, it bumps up against something else, and and that like from the heavens that come. Karma story. I've lived in New York City pretty much my whole life. Kind okay. of. I've never seen a car door open and the car door get taken off by another car. So we're sitting on one of the side streets, like, I don't know, let's say 37th Street. We're driving. The guy in front opens his car door and a truck takes his door off. Oh, my God. My boyfriend at the time is hysterical laughing. What's his name? Bruno? All right. No. (laughs) How many boys? His name. Laughing, laughing, laughing. I stop and I go, what is so funny? That's right. That's weird. I'm glad you know. And he goes, this stupid asshole opened his door. What a dick. What an asshole. I go, again, I don't find it funny. The guy almost got killed. That's right. The truck took his door off. Right. A week to the day, I'm in front of Caroline's <laughs> Comedy Club, pulled over, like, to, you know, and then he goes to me, I'll get out. He goes, you get out. My door. Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
It's my car. That's I'm the thing. Off. How are you laughing when it's your I was car. laughing so hard. I go, you <laughs> I've never seen that ever happen in my life, but that was instant Twice. karma. And then he gets out of the car to beat the shit out of the Don't blame the cab driver. You open the car That's door. That's right. That's right. Oh, my God, I'm dying. I have never seen place. that ever. And if that's not instant karma. Okay, I do believe in certain things like that, mm -hmm. though. It's not karma. What are the Indians? This? India Indians. <laughs> <There's a kiss. laughs> they that you, you get to a high do something wrong. Listen, you I get gotta... good karma if you do good. It's, it's just the. Well, better... maybe. I don't know. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know, but. You Remember don't know when me. the Tickle Me Elmo doll was popular? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does Tickle Me Elmo? I'm going to tell you. I have to do with the I'm Indian give, caste system. I'm going to give you. Okay, go ahead. And give... aliens. <laughs> <laughs> so. At the time, the Tickle Me Elmo was like women were beating the shit out of each other. Oh, yeah, that's Toys true. They were. They to were. To get this stupid thing, and they were paying crazy amounts of money. Okay. So I ended up getting one for my godchild, Alexa, and one for my nephew. How did you get in there to get it? I went to two different Toys R Us's, and I got I wrestled one woman down for it, and I got him. <laughs> I had two Tickle Me Elmo dolls, so Christmas, they were going to open the Tickle Me Elmo doll. Yes. Okay. So I'm hearing this battered women... We have a Tickle Me Elmo doll, and if anybody's got one, we're going to auction them off. I'm hearing the first one went off at $23,000 somebody paid. 23000 It was crazy. So I go to my father, go to the radio station, and bring these two dolls and let them don't, you know, get the money for the battered <laughs> women. I gave up the dolls. Wait a minute. You're not getting the $23,000. you are giving it to battered women. Yes. Oh, you are a good person. So... I just wanted to give them because I'm like, if they're making, if somebody's that stupid to pay 23000 my kid, wow. my nephew can wait a week after Christmas and so can this, my godchild. Okay. It was Alexa and Nico. So I, I give the dolls to my father and I'm in my car. Now I know when he's doing it because I'm listening. So we gave, I'm driving my car. I had just stopped at the uh, convenience store and I got a four lucky sevens, the dollar ones. <laughs> I love that. I love that the story turns into a gambling. Gambling story. And All gamble. She, one, one of his sisters listening, she's a big gambler. So oh. they were put out. Reach, right? Yes. So all of a sudden, they, uh, they go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. No. Two dolls, two new um, Tickle, me Tickle Me Elmo dolls that were donated by Carrie Caravis. And he goes, we want to thank Carrie. Uh, we're going to auction them off right now. And I think one went for like 40 grand. Are you one... kidding no, me? No, I'm serious. People are stupid. Well, these are probably rich but, people. But also they knew they were giving. People gave the money. Whatever. Right. And battered women, whatever. So they go, thank you so much, Carrie. That was so nice of you. Have a Merry Christmas, whatever, or Happy Holidays. And I do the first scratch off. The second scratch off, I get three sevens. Three sevens? Yeah, mm -hmm. like a tic tac toe. Three oh, sevens in a row. How so much? 700 bucks. Really? Instant karma, baby. That's instant <laughs> karma. But, okay, here's my only question, though. Now, have. Okay. You win somewhere else. <laughs> what? Just constantly gambling. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. You, that's, if you constantly gamble, if you're constantly eventually gambling, you do win. You can always check whether or not you, you have karma coming. Because like we said in the beginning of the show, if you sit at the table long enough, the chips I'm come to you. I'm telling you right now. It's chips it's exact time he said my name. Anyway, Agatha's watching. That's my godchild that oh, I was Agatha. talking about. Agatha, I was talking about you earlier, so you gotta have to listen to Is back the to the show. The, yeah. No, she's the one with the um with the neighbor. Ellen is watching. Wrongly, Hi, Ellen. Wrong um 
Where? Oh, here's what I wanted to talk about today. Yeah, do we have, how much time do we have? How much Adam? do we have, Adam? Because you I have. Should, you gotta be on stage in nine minutes. So. Nine minutes. So nine got, minutes. Okay. Oh, and the MC's uh, up there. I don't know. Somebody else can. That's someone else. Can go on. Okay. Yeah. No. So you're probably fine. You got then. nine minutes. Right. Yeah, He's Steve probably Marshall, running late. Is that Steve Marshall? Uh, They can't handle it. When I first turned 50, I cried for five years. I cried for five years because uh, nobody wants... It's not that nobody wants to fuck you. You. <laughs> you know, your whole life and everybody tries to fuck you. Like... And it's, you don't have to be, I wasn't a glamour girl, but you know. No, you, you were hot, you go Cut to the, this shit. Stop dumbing it down. You go to the grocery store. Every comic wanted to fuck you. Uh, you go to the grocery store and the, the guy in the deli counter is like, hey, honey, hey, have this. You want mozzarella? I'll give you double and I'll give you, yeah, wherever you go. Oh, can I take your groceries up there? Yeah. Oh, can I hold the door for you? Can I do that? They, because they think there might be a chance because they want to fuck you. You're 50 and nobody wants to fuck <laughs> nobody sees you nobody gives a shit and all of a sudden you're like oh my god i don't look good anymore you know what i mean like you you know how you used to look good and then you just fucking look terrible so it's like you go from being sort of sexy but the thing is you somebody tells you brad what Zinneman what, told me what happened with that one time that the guy didn't hold the door for you and he slammed it in your face he sla and i had a fucking okay i'm going to the I'm going to the post office. I got two boxes for eBay that I'm selling. My foot is in one of those boots because I had my plantar fasciitis, which, of course, happens after 50 also. <laughs> <laughs> I have plantar fasciitis that I had on both feet. I had both surgeries. I've got a goddamn crutches, and I'm holding these boxes. <laughs> and this motherfucker <laughs> comes out of the, of the goddamn so post office. So he's looking office. at you. He sees me and lets the door slam right in my face. And I'm like... Thanks so much, <laughs> you know, like, and, and then actually, when you shame them, they will go, "Oh, sorry." He, I, he didn't even. Not he only didn't did even he come not back see to you, he but he didn't hear you either. He, he, he completely tuned he would you out. Not come back, and the, and my boxes are full. He was a dick, but yeah. So I don't handle it well. I don't like that I'm not glamorous or whatever. I don't I fucking hate it. Look, I'm starting But to now I don't give a shit because I'm at a certain age. I'm like, I'm going to die You're anyway. not getting married anyway. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh, well, I want to get everything done, you know. Everything done because I'm okay. scared. Look, I'm going to go like, wait, I'm going to show the people in this. If no. You go like this. With the then I'm going to put cheekbones in here. Like You're not this. doing it, Patty. I, I will not do the show with you if you look like that. Sure. You look like an alien. <laughs> I am I'm okay something. with the aging and the saying. Well, you haven't the... aged yet. You still yes, look I like you have. You look like you're 30. The j jowls face. here and the gash in my head every morning. I'm okay with all that. <laughs> what I'm not okay with is the weight pouring on. You're not. You are not heavy. Oh. You're insane. You have. You don't look like you're 175. Try to lift me. <laughs> ah! Adam, get over here. Lift you both. I guarantee if you gave Jay London in here too, he can't lift me. Well, to me, if you... Wait, that's about what I weigh too. You weigh 175. Yes, about 175. You can yeah. probably lift him faster than you can lift me. I'm like dead weight. But you're distributed because you have boobs and an ass. Yeah, come on. So if it's if it's 170 with boobs and ass, who gives a shit? No. You... I'm 130 with no tits, no ass, and a belly. That's fucking worse. No, it's not. You're you look fine, and the, that that's the pH thing. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Pretty, pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Step of what some of my friends are doing. Well, I, you know what the I like? The lips. Small lips. Like I do. You. Like I Not inject skinny. them with that shit because you look like you were hit in the face with a frying pan. But then what do you do with the little wrinkles all around Leave your lips? Leave them. All right. Uh, I'll tell you Just what. Just get I, teeth fixed. I got to get so my teeth fixed. So have great teeth and nobody will even notice your lips. All right. Uh, but I need like $12,000. Yeah. That's the problem. And what about, are you happy with your boobs at your age? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, your boobs stayed good. Nobody sees them. <laughs> yeah. I would like a boob job. I Why? would like, and I would like that you thing. You want to go under the knife? I don't know. 
I don't think go I want to do that freezing thing around your no, stomach. No, that's crazy. You don't even know what the long term effects of that is. Uh, I don't you're care. freezing the fat. First of all, let me explain to everybody. When you do the live action, you're thousand fat cells. Okay. The minute you eat thousand of those, ten thousand. Yes. The will take that. The, those thousand cells that are just taken out yes. will go. Go on the back of your neck, on your ass, I don't know if I on your. Look would, it up. Why would we <laughs> look it up? It won't grow why back. Would, it won't grow back in the same there. spot. Oh, but it'll go somewhere. Else. But it'll go somewhere. But what if it goes to my tits? Then I would be very. Well, happy. it probably won't. It'll probably go on the side of your neck, and they'll be like, "What is that?" I actually growing? need some fat injected into my <laughs> scar tissue in my neck. That's the other thing. I've got like scars from. <laughs> so You're like a puppet it's with so the stitching. I know. Like a, like a the bride like a of Frankenstein, bite, but like we can't be the bride. Uh, don't worry, I'm getting married, the, Kevin. Well, the bride of Frankenstein, we'll call it just Frankenstein. <laughs> the girlfriend of Frankenstein. Let's see the any... fiance of Frankenstein. Oh, wait, I, it doesn't work. I did it. I'm still fat. So, see, she did. See, Kevin says to me, I found a birth certificate. Where's yours? Yeah, so, Patty. So... I don't know why you, would, you were crazy for doing that. Okay. All right. All right. Are we done? I think we're, I think we Wait, had a- Adam, a one last thing. Question for Adam. Adam, how's your yeah. sex life? Because I always have to know about it. Oh, you stopped dating the Indian woman who hates white people. <laughs> with the big ass. <laughs> with the big ass. Uh, uh, the other girl with the big ass. Oh, well, yeah. Latin, the, with the yeah. braces. Okay. What do you got now? Just kind of dating around. Oh, kind Would of you dating ever, around. Would you ever around. try dating a guy? <laughs> like, I would have done that a long just, time no, ago. No, just to have an experience one time. Not, I don't think guys really do that. No, the guys can't do one time or what? they're gay. I if you do, do it no. either. I can't do it either. I couldn't be with a girl. Well. Well, well. you're straight. Yeah. You know. Girls are fluid. You yeah, guys don't just da- guys don't <sighs> dabble. Yeah, that's it's a commitment. Dice, a Clay, commitment. Dice Clay said it best. Either what do you, you say? suck dick or you don't suck dick. <laughs> well... We don't, right, Karen? <laughs> I don't. None of us He's do. Right. <laughs> three All people three in here. Us we are don't suck dick. dick suckers. <laughs> but my reason is because of my neck. Yes, that's a good one. She went and had her neck removed so she doesn't have to blow her fiance. If I do this three times, three times, <laughs> hey, my neck what goes. If, <laughs> let me, let me, spasms of my let, let me ask you this. Please. And uh, uh, what if he kind of came to you? We tried that, and you know what? Oh, she laid on her back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the problem. Only his sister's listening. But here's the thing. Sorry. We did try it. I was going to be suffocated to death, and I thought, you know, it would be hilarious. That's a compliment. Died, and they said, (laughs) 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 "How did your mother pass?" Well, my stepfather. What? He can't. Top of my mom. My my my, yes, my my mom's fiance (laughs) was trying to. Get a blowjob in a different way, but anyway, without I can't hurting even talk her because the sister's listening. Without hurting her neck. That's right. Why is the sister listening? I, d- I don't because pe- it comes up on people's Facebook but why? pages. I don't because well, you guys share. You Every, share we, we share, share it and then your... people are friends yeah. and they listen. All right. I'm well, just anyway. saying maybe you could work something out to where you. No, how about I, I buy it. you a hooker and get a blowjob? I, now, how about that? I tried it. I'm not for. It's not for me. I'm just saying, <laughs> if my husband wants one, I'll get him a hook. <laughs> Guys always stick together, though, as always. far as he's trying to get Kevin a blowjob. A blowjob. He doesn't even know Kevin, but because they both have wieners, Listen, he's going to stick I'm together. To, I'm trying to get Kevin a blowjob. I'm trying to get you that ring. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get <laughs> everybody. The ring. I got the ring. And it wasn't I'm trying to get mother's. you the, the flowers and the he chicken or fish. Every chicken week. or fish. He gives me roses every fucking week. He gives me Wow. Them. He really does. That's some... That's <laughs> some... Right. That you going out of your way, Kevin, to deter her from that <laughs> on the aisle. Uh, I am going to be uh, well this weekend. I am doing a bridal shower, which I haven't done in a while, so that should be fun. Ugh. And then, uh, and then Thursday, I'm going to be at Dangerfields, and I'm going to be at Danger. Tonight, also, right after the okay, show. Okay, so this Thursday, I'm be? in Brooklyn at some club with uh, Veronica. Well, what club do you well, want Veronica say? Mosey. I don't know it. Oh, it's, it's not in my book. All right. Go and to then, Veronica Mosey's site, and you'll see where it is. Yes. And then a, th- a Friday and Saturday, I'm at the Brokerage Comedy Club with Cynthia Levin. And- it's going to be a fun. powerhouse show. We are going to rock it down. I love a Chick girl show. Chick power. 
Carrie's the funniest. The funniest. And also, Patreon. Please Adam give us money. Yeah. Uh, pa- Patreon.com slash chick chat. <laughs> we'll take a dollar. That's all you got to know. A dollar. A dollar. You set pay. it up with your PayPal. Yes. Really easy. Takes 30 seconds. Just give us a dollar a month. It, 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 a dollar, maybe five. You won't even notice that it's gone. <laughs> if you give and us. And do they really? take it out Wait, every month? What yeah, that? and every month. Every you, month it it's comes a, It's in. a subscription, and you get, you know, theoretically four shows a month. Yeah, but that, For $500, we'll give you our bras signed. Well, maybe your bra. Well, we'll get Patty a bra. We'll sign a bra. <laughs> okay, I'll sign them. yours. We'll sign one bra, Mom. Okay. It's gigantic. All right. If we send yours, we won't have to use so much postage. <laughs> $500 gets you our Actually, bra. Actually, it would be a lot Patty, of postage. Patty, you know what to say? This is all, um, what do you call this? Padding. It's all padding. It's a heavy, thick <laughs> foam. So this would be about bra. $20 to it's ship a water out. bra. Look at this. This is nothing Listen, that's me right here. Nobody wants our bra. <laughs> That's the sad That's the part. sad part. We're not getting not even a dollar for our bra, so who are we kidding? <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed our show tonight. We had no guests. And we had, had no had guests. So much it fun. was so much fun. Carrie, do we even? We don't, but we, we do want one. We do. Now. Okay, we we're going to get it. We'll have a guest next time. Next time we'll have a guest. So it's just unusual. But every now and then, it's going to be just Patty and I, because I really like to. We're going to be back next month alone, because we're going to talk about her wedding day. Yes, we will do that. And by the way, and I'm before have to I forget, give her twenty-five bucks. Before I forget, we are at the Comic Strip Live. Please come down to the Comic Strip for some shows. Yeah, I'm this on place tonight. Rocks on the weekend. Second and second. Carrie is always on. I'm going to be on not next next Tuesday when we're not here, actually. Uh, and so, <laughs> come down Tuesday and see the Carrie's on, or I might be on, or, or whatever. Any Friday and Saturday, check and see if we're here. Yes. And it's a great show even if we're not here. They have great weekend shows. All right. What else? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Craig Rotter. I love you for liking my page, liking my videos, and make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Carrie Kravis. I'm going to start posting all the Very uh, funny. chick chats on there as well. What did I share with you that was so funny? Oh, that you wanted to uh, steal shit. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, they gotta... robbed me, so I might as well rob them back. Yeah. I, I agree with that. By the way, I know we're leaving, but by the way, that made me remember that this um, gas station with the Indian guy, I, I paid $40. I went out and drove the car away. I forgot to fill up my, did I tell you this? I forgot to fill up my gas tank. So when you did that bit about wanting to steal from Toys R Us because they couldn't, uh, they didn't give you, um, you know, you had the Toys R Us Wait, you paid for the gas? <laughs> paid for the gas. Drove, and you drove away. away. Yes. Okay. And I've done How that probably just this is all when I went through menopause. It happened like six times. So, so I you went back and said I, I drive didn't... back to the guy and I go, Oh, I, I you know, I just need you to fix the pump again because I just drove away forty dollars. No, 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 get out of my store, get out of my store. Blah, 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 get out of my store. I'm like, No, you owe me forty dollars then because I No, somebody came right after you. You left and he, he filled his car up with forty dollar uh, blah, 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 gas. I go, you know that didn't happen. I go, take take down the cameras. Let's take a look and see who came and took my forty dollars. He goes, get out of my store, get out of my store, blah 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 blah. Okay. Now every I would have jumped the thing. That's, I would have beat the shit up him. But he probably would have had a gun and blown your head. I, off. Well, that and every time I drive back by that store, this happened like four years. Ago, every single time you I steal think, a Snickers bar, I think I'm gonna stop. This is what I'm gonna do, but I don't even want to say it on the air because if I do it, then I could get arrested. Oh, stop! It. I want to go in the store because I can't steal because they got cameras everywhere. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a big coffee. Take a shit <laughs> right on the fucking floor. <laughs> and just shake it out of my pant leg. I would love to do There's that. There's a video of a woman taking a shit in a coffee shop. Are you kidding me? I swear. She got pissed off at the counter people. She took a shit on a, a thing and slapped but, it. But you can get like arrested a, for like taking a, Tim a shit. Hort- was it a Canadian lady and a yeah. Tim Hortons? Yeah. yeah. She uh, wanted to use the bathroom and they wouldn't let her. <laughs> let her. And she just pulled her pants <laughs> out and shit on the thing shit. and threw it, on the, threw it at the guy. It was That's fucking That's like monkeys great. when they throw shit at you. You're not allowed to tell people they can't go to the bathroom. Right? I'm not going to shit. Here's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to get a... And then I'm going to go up the counter. Oh. Candy that goes all the way down the front. And go, oh my god! I'm so sorry. I'm so- you could kill me or arrest me for that? It's an accident, and it's going to be. You want me to do it hot. with you? Because I, I will get it all over everything. Oh my everything. god! I would love it if you did. I'll trip and fall. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. No, 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 no! We give you the forty dollars. <laughs> 
because I want to cost him forty dollars. Can't. You Because then I won't forget. Because the credit exactly. card's in, and I'm right there at the end. Right. Okay, okay. So well, that, that was that was a good. It was story. a good story, right? Okay. All right, Patty. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And Adam, you know we love Adam. I love Adam to death. Sure. I know. I know. <laughs> Why are you being sarcastic? Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Like us on everything. Oh my God! Watches. And please subscribe to us on on uh, YouTube. Yeah. No, not on YouTube. On, um, uh, on, uh, yeah, you're on YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, oh, yeah. YouTube for Chick Chat Comedy Podcast. And give us a great... Oh, by the way, we want to thank the... How many people do we... Ha, are doing our... Patreon. Patreon. How many people? Uh, thank check. you, guys. Was it more that. than two? Sure. Yeah. Three? Okay. Four people. Four We're going to get you We're names. We're going to get $16. We're going to get you yeah, names we'll and thank that. you. We'll do that next, we'll do that next time. We're going to thank you in person for being... $16 so generous. or $17 a month we're getting now. Yes. On that very Maybe more. So. No. Maybe yeah. we need to start um, doing more more shows. Well, yes. we were, we're, we're going from two shows to four shows, but this month you have to be somewhere next week. Yes. Why is uh, Steve Marshall not on the stage? He never goes on he, stage. He always does. He that. only goes he into the... Oh, they, he wants you. He's telling you. I gotta you. go. Okay. All right, we gotta guys. go. We love you. Love, love you. Thank watching. you. Uh, yeah. That's that.